In a surprising move, the Ukrainian military has decided to part ways with the battle tactics taught by its Western trainers, favoring instead a return to longer range standoffs against Russian forces. While this shift in strategy may provide some advantages, it raises concerns about the adequacy of ammunition supply to sustain such a plan. Hello and welcome, I'm your host Piyush. Let's begin. Both Washington and Kiev have criticized the continuing counteroffensive for its perceived failure and poor progress since it started in early June. Russian aviation and artillery have destroyed Ukrainian tanks and armored vehicles, killing a large number of people. One of the nine NATO-trained groups leading the operation, the 47th Mechanized Brigade, reportedly lost 30% of its brigade infantry fighting vehicles in just two weeks. In response to rising losses, Ukrainian military commanders changed their strategy, emphasizing the use of artillery and long-range missiles to wear down Russian forces rather than rushing through dangerous minefields. Although this adjustment may be a sensible attempt to cut down on losses, it also underlines the limitations of training time and prevents the use of NATO-acquired combined weapons tactics. In order to save ammo, American military strategists originally instructed Ukrainian soldiers in mobility warfare. The theory was that by emphasizing agility, excessive artillery rounds would not be required. However, Ukraine didn't have air superiority when it began its counteroffensive, which is a crucial component of NATO military theory. According to Foreign Affairs magazine, this change in tactics was seen as a hidden advantage that would enable the US to outmaneuver Russia's battle of attrition and retake conquered territory. The fact that this did not happen raises questions about the quality of training the Ukrainians received from the West and about whether tens of billions of dollars worth of weapons have been successful in transforming the Ukrainian military into a NATO standard fighting force, the Times wrote. As the Ukrainian military adopts a combat strategy that emphasizes artillery, the question of ammunition supply rises to the fore. U.S. supplies are already so low that Washington is forced to deliver cluster ammunition rather than the more common NATO 155mm shells. This raises questions about whether Ukraine may suffer from a lack of ammunition in a protracted war of attrition. As the fighting continues, Ukraine appears to have renounced its Western strategies. The New York Times report underscores the challenges faced by Ukraine as it navigates a complex conflict with limited resources, while the decision to change tactics and focus on long-range standoffs may offer some advantages, the sustainability of such an approach remains uncertain without adequate ammunition reserves. After a tumultuous journey experimenting with Western tactics and training, Ukraine seems to have reached a crossroads with a disappointing display of progress and dwindling ammunition supply. The Ukraine military has chosen to bid farewell to its Western trainers. Finally.